Hey, so I'm doing a quick review of Zim Wiki, which is a knowledge base information tool, aka your own personal information management system, aka OneNote, stripped down to basically you know, wiki style editing, right? Stripped down text. Um, formatting and uh, note taking. Um, I'm sure it can do other stuff too, especially with the ro with the plugin sets it offers that you can install. Um, but for the purposes of my use case in this review, um, excuse the audio. By the way, I'm not using a microphone; I'm using a hardware microphone. Um, I am just um, checking out and seeing how viable this is as a OneNote replacement. Um, I'm not I'm not trying to do those uh, video series or anything like that where you try to de-Google your life or de-Microsoft your life where you try to you know find an alternative for every single tool at least not yet um, but one of the things that I have found to be the case is that when it comes to um, Linux, OneNote or Evernote or similar software is really hard to come by. You know, something that's stable, that's cross-platform, um, is really hard to come by. Um, and I'm, sh there, I'm sure there's other, there's many options that people make suggestions for, um, but uh, for for me, based on reviewing a bunch of them, taking a look at a bunch of them, um, I actually decided to do a, uh, a beta run, I guess you could say, a beta test of could this be a more, um, uh, a close, co a close competitor of OneNote, um, at least when it comes down to the simple note-taking piece. Um, and so far, I've, I've I've enjoyed it. There's something endearing about the minimalism here and the simplicity of it. Um, and I, you know, there's there is a way to sync this across different platforms. Basically, you you save a notebook in your Dropbox Dropbox folder, and then when you install it on another device, you pretty much uh, in other settings. I think it's in the properties. There are properties, and you go to no, actually, maybe uh, preferences. Let's see. I just did a setting ago. It's funny how I just forgot where it is. There's like one of these settings over here. Okay, here, yeah. Wait a minute. Open another notebook. You open the up on the notebook. Then in the process of opening a uh, notebook, there is a way, see right here, to make default the one that points to your Dropbox um, folder. And you make that default. So anything new, let's say if you use the Firefox add-on to capture notes, like a web clipper, um, you can do that. Um, I won't go into that. I'm not too happy with the web clipper from Zim, Zim Clip, it's called. Not too happy with that. I mean, that's a good start. But for, for general note, for this piece, general note taking, um, I really like the the speed um, and how lean everything is in terms of just getting to where I go. And then um, these beautiful shortcuts of like if you do um, an asterisk, a space, it turns into a bullet. No need to leave. No need to do control or whatever, move the mouse to whatever formatting you have to do. Um, it pretty much does it on its own. Actually, what's really cool too is the same thing is true for a uh, checklist. So if you just kind of do these brackets, boom, checklist, you know. So you do list maker, and then uh, press, you can press tab and it'll automatically indent with the box. So that's what I like. Um, it does have also the generic formatting here too. Um, linking and attaching documents. Um, I don't really need the calendar here, but they have, do have some plugins for automatic, 
for further integration of accounting and dating. There's actually one plugin that I really like. It's called Now, and pretty much has a, a Now button here to get just automatically spit out a um, a timestamp, which for some people with their with their workflow and the type of work they do, they need timestamping in the middle of their notes, um, which I, I sometimes I do. Um, so yeah, uh, I like this a lot, and the fact that I am going sharing through Dropbox makes me feel a little more comfortable with putting stuff on the cloud. Um, I eventually I'll like to have set up my own next cloud um, server to do all this. Um, but for some reason, you know, I'm I'm not, I'm not a super technical person, um, and I ran into a problem with the database side of Nextcloud. I was trying to set up a Maria database or something like that to create the actual database um, to point to for Nextcloud and for some reason I couldn't get it going. Like I get to the Nextcloud login but for some reason uh, I can't go inside something about my permissions or something with the database and being a user and that kind of thing. But anyways, um, so yeah, that's this is this is the gist of um, Nextcloud. Let's see here. Yeah, so these are um, some projects, and I was just drafting like a, a demo and just brain dumping some projects I'd love to work on once I learn how to, you know, code at a professional level. You know, uh, help with um, so recommending changes and enhancements to Unity convergence, um, self hosting through Nextcloud, um, my email, all that stuff like that. Like everything, self hosting, even SMS. Um, another project I was kind of like, want to take a look at too down the road is running virtual machines and remote accessing OneNote on a desktop. Um, if I can, if, if this doesn't become a, if I can ever get this going as a full OneNote replacement, and I say full, I mean like literally 100% replacement, at least if I can get 80% to 85% of OneNote's functionality, I guess I'll sacrifice the other parts like the freeform writing, like you know, the stylus pen, um, and also the freeform writing where I can just start typing over here to the right. You know, right here it's linear, like there's no, there's only a one plate, uh, top to bottom writing that I can place text in. If I, I can't insert a text box right here and start writing, there's something, something that I really like about that. Not that I use it all the time, but just knowing that I have that there um, is really powerful, especially when I'm writing and I have an alternative side note that I want to make sure I want to add, or even a you know an alternative section that I want to swap it out with that I just won't have to think about right now. Um, that's it's been pretty you know clutch you know in terms of my workflow. Again, um, it's all about the flow for me. Um, now the only, the next thing is, so I have this. It's cross-platform. They have it for Mac. I haven't gotten working on Mac yet, um, but I, granted, I haven't really looked into the manual installer too well. Um, but I know they have a Windows version. Excuse me. They don't have a mobile app. Now the thing that makes this potential is that if I have uh, this sort of my Dropbox account, I should be able to have a phone app that can point to my Dropbox folder and find the link or the doc uh, where this this uh, note these notebooks are held, and be able to have a mobile rendering of my notebooks like this. Um, so it's almost like a if there's a wiki client or a note-taking client that will automatically kind of port this stuff in in terms of the text content, I should be good with a mobile app. Uh, almost like similar to what Nextcloud has for like a note-taking app. I think there's a, there's an it's called Own Q Own Cloud, 
um, or no, Q own note. They actually have something um, that's pretty, pretty. It's a Markdown editor, actually. I'm not too crazy about that part, but um, pretty solid. And it's almost like something like that. If I have a note-taking app that can kind of port in my information, that's pretty much what I need. Um, and I'm sure they have something for the phone too. Um, so I have the phone covered. I'll have the desktop covered. The next thing will be the cloud. Or what if I'm not at my station? Can I go to? And there's actually um, one or two wikis that create um, tools that actually uh, that let you port in information. Um, but I'm, I'm just again, this is still experimental. Just checking it out. Um, if you're curious, this is how I, for the most part, how I. Oh, this is bookmarks. I was testing bookmarks. One thing I wasn't too crazy, but what well, well, was not too crazy about the Zim Club. That's a lot to be lacking. So, um, if you're curious, this is how I, I break down my note takes. This is pretty much my entire life right here. And so, life business will include stuff like. You know, um, uh, personal things that I want to keep track of with um, maybe registration for renew renewing my. Um, actually, what would I put in my life business stuff? Uh, oh yeah, um, I would put family things here, things related to my family. So. Um, special documents relating to that like for example I have a file on my wife on her favorite brands of like chocolate or food or whatever so that when I go to surprise her or treat her or something I'm getting her the exact thing that she likes and loves um, and something more sp more I don't have it here again because this is all in my OneNote but um, other more personal stuff that I have um, like also like resume edits like if I was tri you know, creating a a, um, a a cover letter instead of doing it in Word or a Word editor, I would do it here because I like having the again going back to that side by side. I like having the job post here and then my resume cover letter right next to it in one app um, and highlighting things and kind of like you know. Um, so. Health, you know, medical records or uh, that kind of thing. Finance. I have a business, so I also have some just basic financial like things that I keep track of there. Nothing sophisticated or crazy. Um, then for business, I was playing around with this. I have a podcast, but also you know, eventually a client will have their own. Now here's what's cool, like Q Q2 podcast. Um, this is a potential episode, what are topics I'm going to cover, then I can keep on nesting. I think that's what I like about that. Like with Evernote, you can only nest like once. Nest. Blah, blah. With Evernote, you can only nest once. Um, I like how here it's not the case. Um, then also the hyperlinking, you know. For how would you uh, hyperlink this? Note, I think it's right here. It was that red notebook that had like the extreme hyperlinking. Let's see what that does. I think that's what it is. Yep, 
There it is. Copy location. Boom. It'll take me there. So let's put this here. In miscellaneous. Oops. Put that one. Boom. I love that. Super cool. Super easy. Um, and yeah, and the reason why this is, has to be like a native desktop uh, desktop thing is that because I have to have offline access, and also it's just faster. You know, I've done the OneNote with online, and I used Epiphany web browser to make it like a web app type thing, and it just always, oh, well, just just never the same experience. It has limited functionality, limited search abilities, um, and it's just so such a a resource hog from the browser like there's so much stuff going on on the back end from a, for for such a crazy tool like one now all the stuff it has to do to do that in a browser it gets laggy you know it's just it gets funky i just don't like it you know i just not doesn't feel like i can just lose myself in my work or my writing or whatever i'm doing um so yeah so this is my I'm just scratching the surface on what it will look like if I had to if I had to leave one note for the sake of principle obviously with like trying to take back my data eventually um, but with using next cloud plus another tool what would that look like and I'm just using Dropbox temporarily for now uh, but yeah what would that look like you know and Zim wiki has a head start um, Q own cloud or Q own notes rather I keep on saying that Q own note is a nice um, start too uh, but I just again I gotta figure out this uh, next cloud stuff um, but yeah uh, that's my rant on Zim wiki that's the one note killer <laughs> I'm sure I ain't killing one note anytime soon but um, this thing does have legs for at least my use case purpose all right well, that's it for now. Catch you guys later.